Hey there guys, welcome back. So I ended up returning the LG style because of the lousy battery. I could only get from 8 a.m. to 7.40 p.m. before I needed a recharge with the Wi-Fi off and always on display off as well. So yeah, it was kind of a bummer, but oh well. But on the other hand, I am getting more for my money with the ASUS Sunwatch 3. So the unboxing experience kind of reminds me of the Huawei watch, but the Huawei watch was a bit fancier and that's because it was more expensive, so they had more money to put into the packaging. So the ASUS M watch is very stylish, but I just really wish that they offer more colors to choose from because I'm really not liking the gold look on this. It's just going to have to grow on me. So inside the box, you will find the one piece charging dock. And also you'll see this uh, small rubber piece where you can rest your watch on when you're charging it so it doesn't get scratched when you put it on the counter. Then you have your user manual here. And then underneath that is the DC power bricks. So an awesome feature of this watch is that you can get it from 0 to 60% in 15 minutes. So that's awesome. It's faster than most of the watches out there. So that alone is one of the great things about the watch. So the Sandwatch 3 has an elegant look, but I'm still not really liking the gold around the display. I wish they offered more colors to choose from. That would have been awesome uh, to have silver around the display and a black watch band. I would just have to give it some time and see if it grows on me by the end of the video. And I'll just give you my feedback then and see if it's still the same. So the watch is rocking a beautiful 1.39 inch AMOLED display. It doesn't have a heart rate sensor, but it does have a speaker. And for the past few days that I've been testing it out, I forget that it has one because I've been used to not having one on my previous watches. The watch has a genuine brown leather band, which is interchangeable, but there isn't any third party seller bands out there. Yeah, so keep that in mind. So now I'm going to move on to some of the issues that I encounter with the watch for the first two weeks that I've been testing it out. So sometimes the display goes completely black, but I know it's turned on because when I swipe down, I can get to the menu shade as shown here. It also happens whether I have the always on display on or off. So here I happen to catch it because I was home and I had my camera with me. So it has done this a couple of times when I have been out. So it's not the first time that it has happened. And other times when I'm not doing anything to the watch, it just randomly gives me the Android where it has stopped working. And then the watch begins to become a bit sluggish for a few seconds. And this isn't a big issue, it's just some of the little things that I ran into while using the watch, just so you guys know. So this can be fixed with a software update. Okay, so now onto something that can be a bit of a bothersome for some of you is that the ASUS Sandwatch 3 has the infamous red tint that plagues some of the Huawei watches display, where the pixels didn't completely turn off where it needed to, but instead had a reddish glow to it. So in ambient mode or in the setting menu, a red tint can be seen and during the day you can't see it but you can tell it's affecting the screen because when I put it next to the LG watch style and the LG Ur watch urbane, you can see that the urbane and style numbers are wider and brighter and it's like a red transparent film is on top of the, the Sandwatch 3 display. So this was noticeable on day one and I can still make out the time outdoors but just not in direct sunlight like I can with the style or the urbane. So if you own the watch and you want to make sure that your unit isn't affected, you can go to the setting menu while in a dark place or at night with all the lights turned off and set the watch to automatic brightness with the display always on and give it a few seconds and you will see a red tint on the menu or if you have it on the ambient mode, uh, you're going to be able to see that background light up kind of reddish. So because of that, I ordered a second one, but that second one ended up being worse and it had a line running across the left side of the screen and so I returned it that same day. So if you want a way around this, what you can do is just turn off the automatic brightness and just set the brightness manually so that way you won't see the red tint. So something else to mention is that for some reason the Facebook Messenger has not been able to sync on my watch and I tried it on both of them and it still doesn't show up and I also tried factory resetting both and it still didn't show up. So I don't know if some of you are having this issue or if it's just me having bad luck with that. In case you had that issue and you solved it, feel free to leave it down in the comment below so we can uh, fix it ourselves too. So if you can get past all of that, the ASUS Watch 3 is an amazing watch and it has a lot to offer when it's competing against the LG watch style. So Android Wear 2.0 on the ASUS has been delayed and it may be getting it by the end of May or late June, but hopefully it's really soon. Alright, so now I'm going to go on to the buttons now. So I don't know if it was a new update because I updated the watch right away and it had two updates that I had to do. But now you can customize the top and the bottom button on the watch to launch any app that you have in your watch. I heard you can only customize one before, so now you can do both in case you're wondering. So this comes very handy because it cuts the need to search for your most used app on your watch. For example, if you work at a vet clinic and you need to take the heart rate of a dog, you can just press on the button that you assign the timer to and just count down 50 seconds and then you can take the heart rate with that. 
So I set the bottom button to launch the Find My Phone app because I'm always misplacing my phone and this is my most used app so it's very handy for me. So something that I found really cool on here is that the Asus has an SOS app that notifies the person you put down as an emergency contact in case you fall. So it has some sensitivity that you can adjust from like high to low. So this seems to be great for older folks. Alright, so now I'm gonna just set the SOS on one of the customizable buttons which is gonna be the top for me. So you can also set off the SOS alarm uh, even when the display is off, so check it out. So you just double press on the assign button, it will send your note to the assigned contacts. And you can edit what the note sends, and you can let it send your location which is really handy. And also you can let it raise your alarm on your watch, which is extremely loud, and also raise the alarm on the phone. So that is an awesome feature to have on the watch. So if you disable the raise the alarm on the watch and raise the alarm on the phone, then you can secretly send out that SOS message without anybody ever knowing around you that you sent that. So that is great. So that app is not completely perfect and I ran into an issue with that when I had the automatic fall detection turned on. So I ended up turning that off. So on the next clip, you'll see what I ran into. So here it is. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but I have my girlfriend on recording because the watch has suddenly started uh, ringing. And I can't make a stop, it's the uh, SOS alert. So yeah, there's nothing I can do, like, probably have to turn it off and restart it. So I swiped it away from my phone, but it didn't work. And I don't know if you guys can hear it. So yeah, I'm kind of, and I'm driving right now, so I'm going to let her turn off my watch. So yeah, that's one of the issues. Alright, so all of that happened right after I got out of my night class. And luckily it happened after I got off and not during my night class because that would have been really embarrassing. And also, I was just barely getting out of the parking lot when it happened and I had my girlfriend with me. So she was able to film the issue that I encountered. So of course, right after that issue, I turned off the automatic fall detection. So just giving you guys a heads up. So the battery life on the Sandwatch 3 has definitely been better than that of the styles. I managed to get from 8.30 to 6.43pm with the always on display. And that is not impressive, but the style only got me from 8.30 to 2.42pm with the always on display. And both with Wi-Fi turned off. So with the always on display disabled, I can make it through my whole day as seen in, the gra in this graph here. I still had a bit of use left at 11.02pm, so it's average. Uh, there is also a battery pack you can attach to the back of the ASUS to give you more battery life. You can get up to 3 days supposedly with it and it runs for $45 but it will be adding some thickness to your watch. Surprisingly the watch is very comfortable and the buttons aren't easily pressed when I put my hand on the table like that. But if you're doing a couple push-ups, then the center button is gonna be pressed. Okay so now moving on to another big feature of this watch and that is the speaker. So the watch speaker is great for hands-free calling and you can have the uh, watch play the alarm sound on the watch and the instead of just vibrating on your wrist and if you set the alarm on your watch it will be independent from the phone so it will only ring on the watch but now if you set it on the phone it will ring both on the phone and on the watch so just something to note there so in order to pick up calls on your watch you just have to go to the bluetooth settings here and then enable sound on your watch uh, so here i'm just going to call up a friend to get some feedback and uh, so here's my conversation with him Hey, I'm just calling you because I'm testing out the microphone and speaker on the new watch that I got. So I just want to get your feedback on it. So how do I sound right now? Uh, right now you sound uh, echoey. Echoey? Okay. It's because I'm pretty far from the watch. Let's see. I'm getting a bit closer. How do I sound now? Yeah, it's clear now. Clear now? Okay. All right. You want to say anything to the camera? Because you're in my video right now. Nah, not cool. You don't want to say anything to Raul, Pedro, Carlos? Nah, nah. Huh? Alright, cool, cool, cool. So I got a bit further away from the, the watch, so now, how do I sound now? Uh, you sound, there's not really a difference. You sound like, there's a little echo. Still like echo? When you get part of it, right? Okay. Yeah. Well, well, it seems like we can have a full-on conversation with the watch. It's, it handles yeah. pretty well then. Yeah. All right then. All right. Thanks, man. I'll see you later. All right. All right, ladies, man.
Alright, so by far the ASUS Watch 3 is an amazing watch. It offers more than the competition at its price point. It is running the latest Android Wear 2100 processor and it has a speaker and it has a decent battery life. And it has two customizable buttons and it looks stylish. So yeah, this makes a great watch. Just waiting on that Android Wear 2.0 update though. Alright, so you made it to the end of the video and um, my feedback on how the watch looks still remains the same. I'm still not liking it as much. But hey, it's a great watch. Alright guys, so thank you guys for watching. Till the next one. Peace out.